Hi, this is Amy from Make It Mine. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this heart love note. So to complete this project, we're going to need tape or glue to adhere pieces together. Either work fine, just keep either of them handy. When choosing an adhesive for this project, I recommend a clear adhesive so that way if you accidentally tape outside a little bit, nothing will be visible. For this video, I'm using white tape just so it's easier to see. So I'm going to show you what comes in a package when you receive it. Workspace, so I can just focus on one piece. So first, depending on how your love note comes to you, it's all gonna be the same when you open it up. It'll look like this. Your goal is just to fold these pieces in right here. This one in, this last one in. And eventually it'll be taped down to look like that, and that will create the insert part. But just fold everything in, in, in. If you would like for this project too, you could also use a, a bone score. It's not necessary, but if you'd like to use it, that could be a good option. What I'm gonna do next is bring up my tape right here. And all I'm gonna do is tape this part right here. And next, I'm gonna take that over and press that down. And you don't have to worry about matching it so perfectly like this. The flaps are designed to be easy to assemble. You just fold it over, it'll naturally wanna fall on the right place. And you just apply the pressure right there. And that's where the inserts are gonna go. And you're just gonna repeat the same step right here. Now we're done with the first piece. So we're gonna move on to the second piece right here and just repeat the same steps. That's the second piece complete. And your next step is just gonna be combining the two. And it'll look like that. So make sure that this point right here matches up with this and the corners here are aligned as well. And you have your base completed. So the next thing we're gonna assemble is the flip book. And this is what's gonna go on top of the base that we just finished assembling. There's a total of five pieces and they all require the same steps. So I'm just gonna take one of them so I can show you. I'm gonna take out this rubber band here and like I said before, there should be a total of 15 cards and five hearts. Each flipbook requires three cards and one heart. So just grab what you need and put the rest aside. All right, let's start. So the first step right here is to make sure that you have this in the right orientation. You wanna make sure that the heart is on top and this little V cutout is right here. You see these lines right here? There's a total of four. We're gonna fold from the first one right here and fold up. And then we're gonna go back and fold the second line. And then we're gonna fold the third. 
and then we're gonna fold the fourth. When we're doing this, you wanna make sure that you're careful not to fold these parts right here so they stay nice and straight. And at the end, you should have this. We have one, two, three little folds right here, and I'm gonna start at the top one. And what I find is easiest is to hide the bottom two, so I'm only working with this part. So I'm gonna start at the bottom, and I'm gonna run the tape all the way to the end, just like that. Next, I'm gonna grab my first card, and I'm gonna line it up to the bottom. And you can just eyeball it and make sure it, um, it lines up to the bottom, or you can kind of add a finger here to help you align it and make sure it also aligns with the sides right here and just press down. The great thing about using tape is that if you mess up, you can usually kind of reposition it. Um, it's kind of one benefit, but glue works just as great. Now that we're done with the first card right here, we're gonna move this main piece up a little bit so we can reveal the second fold right here. Once again, I'm gonna repeat the same step by using my tape to attach adhesive right here. When you're doing this step, make sure that not only are you aligning it to the bottom right here, but you're aligning it with the first card that you attached. Just like that. And just notice how this part right here is straight and I didn't put any adhesive on the side right here. So I kept it nice and clean. This will end up being your flip book, just like that. The next step is adhering this last card right here. So you know exactly where to pull. Just a reminder, make sure you are adhering the heart to the correct side. And the correct side should be when this is folded down and you can see the red cards right here. If you adhere it the other direction, the cards won't be visible and you won't be able to pull the tab on the flip book. What I'm gonna do is flip this card over right here and I'm gonna get my adhesive and tape this part down. Now that I have this adhesive right here, I'm gonna turn it over and what helps is if you hold it like this so you can feel the heart shape right here. And just like this, we're gonna use our finger to make sure that we don't go past the heart and it's perfectly aligned. I'm just gonna adhere it this way, right there. And you can even look in the back right here to make sure that it's perfectly aligned. Once it's aligned, just press down and seal your work. When it's folded down like that, it'll make a perfect heart. Next, I'm gonna bring back the base and I have all my flip books right here. And you can either attach your photos first and then adhere it or adhere it straight on. I'm gonna adhere it first just to show you in this video. I'm gonna turn the flip book over and these little tabs right here is what we're gonna add tape to. Make sure you don't get it in the center piece right here. I'm gonna add adhesive all the way down here. Now that I'm done adding tape to this part, I am gonna match it up with the top three pieces right here. There are two thicker ones and that belongs to the bottom pieces. And the top part right here should be aligned with this. To build the main body, you're gonna need this big piece right here. You're gonna need one of these pieces and this, what we call the spine. For these cardboard-like pieces, there are two of them, so they are different sizes. The correct one for the body is the one with the smaller V at the top. So as you can see here, it's smaller than the one right here. This other one will be used for the lid, so you can put that aside for now. I'm gonna open up the main body, and it has these two little flaps right here too. I'm gonna fold that little piece here back, just like that. Fold 
this little piece here back as well. You can open that back up. What I like to do next is, if you can see right here, there's a heart shape right there. And if you can't see it that clearly, just connect the dots right here. What I'm gonna do is take my finger like this and line it parallel with the first line. And I'm gonna push on it to make a crease. And because of the odd shape, make sure you're not creasing all the way to the bottom right here. There's only a little fold right here, so just be cautious. Next, I'm gonna do this fold right here and you can see it by connecting the dots. Fold that little piece and make sure you don't fold out. Repeat the same step for this. Last one on this side. This one is okay if you go out because if you can see, the crease goes over. You don't necessarily have to crease this part, but it's okay if you do. Next part for this side. Repeating the exact same thing. This piece is completely symmetrical, so whatever you do on this side, you'll repeat for the other. Now I'm done with folding that edge. Next up is to fold this outer part right here. I'm gonna start with this little flap right here. I'm gonna fold that inwards. You can go ahead and fold the other side too, or you can wait till you go in the full circle. Doesn't matter, it's symmetrical, just repeat the same steps on the other side. So there's two different ways of doing this. I'll show you both because some people might find one way easier than the other. For me, I personally like to hold it like this. So I have two fingers right here and a thumb behind putting pressure. I, use my, I put my thumb lower right here so I can support this. And I pop it out just like that. And it's kind of hard to see on camera, but there's a little fold right here that will help guide you. And I kind of pinch, I grab it and I pinch it just like that. And I make sure that the fold goes all the way to the bottom where it meets the circle. This body was designed with these circles right here to actually help make this process of folding easier. So I just pinch it and what I do is I roll it to one side and I roll it to the other. Now you have that crease and that will help your love note fall. That was one way of doing it. Some people like that, some people don't. Another way that might be easier for you is to put one hand right here and there's creases right here so you know exactly where to follow. If not, look where the circles are. That's gonna be the guideline. And right here where it goes in is where you're gonna have to pop it out just like this. So another method is aligning your hand where the guide is and pushing it out just like that. It's kind of like what we did for the outline here, but it's for this part. And all you have to do is, my fingers here, I fold that part in, then I fold this next part out like that. So you're really having the table help you here. And you kind of just roll it to the other side. And that's how you have this next fold. Just repeat the same step for here, 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 and here. Just look at where it indents at the top. Now that I have folded all the creases that were there, I'm gonna move on to the spine right here. And it's called the spine because it goes right here and without this piece, this whole body isn't complete. So these two pieces are already folded down for you. Though it might be kind of hard to see on camera, there actually is a crease right down the middle for you. What you're gonna do is fold that backwards. And it kind of sounds like you're breaking a line. That's just how it was perforated for you. And then with this last piece right here, you're gonna fold it in and in, in and in. 
So it just looks like that. And these flaps kind of go like this. Next, what I'm gonna do with this piece is insert these little tabs into these holes right here. There should be one, two, three, four, just as there are four tabs right here. I'm gonna put this in the little hole right here, slide it in, and it might be easier to do one at a time instead of doing two at once. And you should kind of hear a little pop when it goes in and it kind of interlocks it. I'm gonna repeat the same thing on the other side and you have to move this little piece right here first so you can see the tabs. Sometimes just you can put it halfway through and just grab the tab from the other side and just pull all the way. Now the spine is here, but we have these weird pieces. The reason why we have this is so we could fold it down here and kind of cover this whole mess. So the way we're gonna make it stay is just actually adding some adhesive right here. It kind of helps to bring this to the edge of the table because it's such a weird shape and you don't wanna press down on it because you're gonna ruin the shape. So if you bring it to the edge of the table here, you have it lay flat and that way you could adhere it well. After I've added adhesive here, I'm gonna fold it over right here so it covers this little piece right here. And make sure these tabs right here aren't folded in like that, they're folded down. Now fold this piece right here. And now put your hand on the back side and hold it firmly and press down to make sure that it's secure. You're gonna repeat the same step for this side. For this side, you don't really need to put it on the edge of the table because it lays flat with the table. There's a little flap right here, so we're gonna add adhesive here as well. And I'll show you why in a second. I'm gonna fold this piece right here down. And like I said, make sure these tabs are down. And what this does is it actually secures this tab and makes sure that it won't come out. Fold it down, press down on it. And this last piece right here, just fold it down. And it should line up perfectly with the edge right here and this little hole right there. So that's one half of the spine done. You're gonna repeat the exact same steps on the other side. Now I'm done of attaching the spine. And now when I put it up like this, you can see that there's a backing right here and not just an empty gap. The next step is taking that cardboard piece we put aside. I'm gonna turn it over so it's not white and I'm gonna add adhesive to it. I'm gonna turn it over and if you remember where we traced the heart with our folds, where the dots are, we're just gonna align it like that. Make sure this V part lines up with this and just attach it. When you have it aligned, press down so it's securely attached. Now that we're done with the body, we're gonna attach the base to it. And this is the base with all the flip flops. So I'm gonna turn the base over and make sure that you don't ruin any of the flip flops when you're turning it over. I'm gonna get my adhesive and just trace this part. Next, I'm gonna turn it over and attach it here. When doing so, make sure that this point right here lines up with this point. And make sure that this top part is centered with this. That's how you know that your heart isn't lopsided. I'm gonna turn it over. I kind of like to hold it like this. Two fingers right here and two fingers here, just to make sure I have a good grip. So like I said, make sure the bottom point is lined up. I'm looking to make sure, if I go like that, you know, the, the point is lined up, but it's not straight. So make sure this heart here is lined up with this spine piece. When you have that in place, just press down and make sure it's secure.
Now we have the body with the base complete. Next, we're gonna move on to the lid. And the lid is comprised of three parts. And it's gonna be the remaining cardboard piece, this heart-shaped red piece, and this, what we call the lid spine. I'm gonna work with this part. I'm gonna turn it over so you can see all these flaps right here. So just quickly unfold all of them. Now you should have this piece. Next, we're gonna fold the pieces so we can make the lid. This right here is already folded for you. Um, we're gonna do the next fold right here as well. And then the last fold right here, we're gonna actually fold it the opposite direction. So what it should be is in, in, out. Total of three folds. There's another fold right here. Just fold that little piece inwards. Rotate your lid. I'm just repeating the same steps for the rest. Like I said, it's in, in, out. This part in. Now that I've folded everything, I'm gonna set this aside and get that spine piece we were talking about. So it kind of looks like this, it's a little strange. Um, there's gonna be a perforated side right here and the other side is not gonna be visible. So you want to fold in where you see the perforated line. Fold in just like that and you're gonna hear like a little crack like the paper breaking and you kind of see that on the other side too. Next, what you're gonna do is repeat the same steps like you did here, just by folding in and out. This so one you're gonna fold in and out. Now when you have it like this, you have these two little tabs right here. And these tabs are gonna be folded in. Just like that. If you accidentally fold the tabs the wrong way, don't worry about it. You can just fold it back the other way. Doesn't matter. Next, I'm gonna take this piece right here that we just folded. And if you can see it right here, there's little tabs right here where you can insert this. It's exactly the same as the main body, it's just for the lid. So what we're gonna do is make sure that you're not folding it this way with these little tabs sticking out like that, you wanna make sure that these folds right here are facing you. You're going to hold this piece right here and make sure that this little insert is visible. Grab this little tab and slide that through. And just like the main spine, you'll kind of hear that little click when it slides through and it should interlock. You're gonna grab the other side right here. Be careful you don't pull it out like that. It shouldn't pull out because it's interlocked, but you should just be cautious anyways. I'm gonna repeat the exact same step here. There's an insert right here. I'm gonna pull a tab through it. And there we go. I heard that little pop. I know it's through. Now we have this. All you're gonna do is, I like to fold these two pieces down right here. I like to grab this next piece right here and the way we're gonna do this is make it all interlock so that way we don't need any tape. We're gonna grab this right here, that little piece right here, we're gonna pull it right here and hold it down with our other finger while we pull this tab down. And because of the way we folded it earlier, it'll automatically fall just like this. We're gonna repeat the same step with this next piece right here by bringing this tab here and folding down the other piece. And what it kind of does is interlocks so that way none of the pieces pop out. Repeat that with this big piece right here and fold down. Tab right here is on the other side, but it's the same process. So I'm gonna fold that down. Because this is the piece that has no tabs going into it, we're just gonna put this down as well. Another tab here, repeat. 
another tab here. You're gonna repeat, but make sure that this tab is already in the other part. If you fold it here, but the tab's outside, it's gonna be stuck here. So make sure that it's tucked inside already. Fold this piece here down, and everything else should kind of fall together. Fold that piece, fold that. Also, one thing I wanna mention about this is, yes, if you pull this too hard, the spine will kind of come out, but there's a little piece right here from the spine. We're just gonna make sure that's down. So it's gonna be like two tabs on both sides. Just make sure that piece is down here, and this is right here. At the end, it should look like this. And yes, it'll be kind of popping out here and there, but that's why we have this piece to hold everything together. Now, you could just put that straight through and it should hold, or you could add adhesive to the back side just to make sure it really stays. Just press down to make sure that if you adhere to it, you add adhesive, it's there. Even if you didn't add adhesive, it's firmly in place so it holds all the tabs together. There we go. That is a complete lid. Now that we're done with the lid and the face, I'll open it up just so you can see it. Um, we're gonna put it aside and we're gonna work on the little ring box inside that goes in the center. So I'm gonna put everything aside so I have a clear workspace. And I'm gonna take out these two pieces right here, which are the base and the lid of the ring box. The red piece right here is gonna be the lid. The black part right here is gonna be the base. They slightly differ in size, but other than that, they're the exact same thing. So I'm gonna start with the lid, but whatever I do here, just repeat the exact same thing on the base as well. When you're folding this though, just make sure you're folding the correct way, in the correct direction, I should say. If you look right here, the creases right here are going inwards, and that's how you can tell that should be the outside. It's also slightly smoother, so that's another way to differentiate it. You can also see the perforated line on the outside here. To be honest, if you can't tell, it doesn't really make a difference. It's kind of just there if you notice. So what I'm gonna do is, this should come already with like some folds. It might not necessarily be this fold, but just go ahead and find this part right here. If you can't see it that well, just know that it lines up with this and this. Just make that fold right here. There's another fold right here. You're gonna take that, make that fold, and this little last piece, you're gonna fold it out. It's kind of a pattern with this um, love note where it's kind of fold in and out. I'm gonna rotate it here, and I'm gonna repeat the exact same step to this side. Fold in, in, and out. Because it is a cube, there are four sides to this box. I'm gonna repeat the same thing. If you can tell right here, there are little small folds here. I kind of take one finger here, and I just push where it indents right here. I push it, and it automatically push in. Now that we are done with that, what we're gonna do is go back to one of these folds. I'm gonna grab this and make the tab right here. And just like the lid, we're gonna use that interlocking method to make this whole box stay without any tape. After the ring box, let's focus on the inserts. Like I said, there's five of them. Let's start with the easiest ones. This right here is a house. And all I do is there's one, two, three, four folds right here. I'm gonna start at the inner two right here. I'm gonna fold in and just like that. And it creates that half circle right there. I'm gonna do the same thing on the same other side and that should be your house. There might be little things right here you have to pop out, just like that. Don't be alarmed, that's normal. Now that we're done with the house insert, we're gonna move on to the heart. It's fairly similar. There's one, two, three, four folds, 
and we're just gonna repeat the same thing we did to the house by folding this one in and this one out, just like that. We're gonna repeat the same exact step on the other side. And there we have it, the heart fold out. Next, we're gonna move on to the last three inserts. The last three inserts all require some type of adhesive. I'm gonna begin with this right here. It's a rectangle here with a little heart in the middle. The matching piece for that is this piece right here where it has a crease down the middle. Just to be clear, it is not the one with two right here. That is for a different insert, so we'll put that aside. Make sure you're working with this one. We're gonna begin with the red piece right here, and there's a crease right here and right here. So this outlines a heart, and this goes down the center. We're gonna fold this way, and we're gonna fold the other way. Now, what we're gonna do is grab a finger right here, but hold this piece with your thumb, and push just like that. It's kind of like what we did for the main body when we had to get those folds. Um, we just do that, and it kind of becomes a pop-out heart, just like that. Now for this next piece, we're just gonna fold it in half. This one's pretty straightforward. There we go. The finished insert should look like this. So what I like to do is to make sure that it's aligned top and bottom right here, is I line it up ahead of time. I hold it down like this. I fold it over and I grab my adhesive and I add it just like that. So I know it's not gonna move anywhere and it'll be straight when I line it up. If you want, you can kind of open it back up just like that, make sure it's aligned. Not only align top and bottom, but also in the center. Where this fold is, it should meet the same fold on the black. And all I'm gonna do is just push down on it. I'm gonna flip it over and repeat the exact same step. And there we have it. This insert is really great to add photo here or just write a little note. As you can see, there's quite a few folds right here. We're gonna begin with the ones going straight, just like that. There are diagonal ones too, but we'll focus on those later. So for the ones going straight, we're gonna fold all of those inwards. So just rotate the paper and fold them all in. Next, what we're gonna do is actually flip it over and the diagonal lines that I mentioned earlier are the creases that we're gonna focus on right now and we're gonna fold that inwards. Repeat that for all four corners. It should kind of look like this with that. Grab one corner here and grab one corner here. Because of the creases that we made, it should kind of wanna just fold like that. Repeat the same stuff with this side. Grab the corner here and let it kind of fall where it wants to fall. Grab this right here, the last piece, and just let it go. Then we, can, we should get this kind of thing right here. It kind of folds into one neat big square. But when you let go, it explodes just like that. So now that we have this done, we're gonna set this aside and focus on this piece. There's one crease right here and one crease right here. What we're gonna do is fold this one piece in right here, flip it over, do the exact same thing. That way it's just like that. This will be adhered to this, just like that. This is a really easy insert to make. The only thing is that you just have to make sure that you align it properly. And what I mean by align it properly is that these corners right here match up with the creases right here. So it's not like that, it's like this. If you can see from this angle, 
that this lines up here and this lines up here. And you also want to make sure that this is too far up not, and not too far down. Try to center it as best you can. I'm going to take this red piece and fold it back into that neat little square. I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to grab my adhesive and I'm going to tape the edges. I'm going to hold these two pieces just like that with my thumbs so I have a good grip on it. And that way I can kind of control where the corners line up. I'm going to grab this piece right here with my other fingers and I'm going to make sure that the corners we talked about are lined up. And make sure that not only these corners are lined up, but this top and bottom here are centered as well. That looks just about right. So I'm going to place that and I'm going to press that down. You can kind of double check your work by just grabbing this and making sure that it folds. It folds so that's perfect. I'm going to fold this part right here so I have that one little cube. I'm going to take my adhesive once again and I'm going to tape the edges. Great. Now all I'm going to do is just fold this piece down. And there we go. So this flap kind of controls how this opens. I'm going to repeat the exact same step on the other side. And that's it with this insert. Now the last and final insert is infinity card. It's comprised of these four little pieces right here. And if you look closely, you can tell that there's little folds going across. It kind of makes eight squares. And now we have four pieces. I'm going to focus on just these two first. I'm going to get my adhesive right here and I'm going to tape this corner right here. So the top left corner. There we go. So I tape that whole entire part right here. Now I'm going to grab this next piece right here and I'm going to align it so that it's taped just like that. So now that I have secured that, and I'm gonna tape this part. I'm gonna grab this, and I'm gonna do exactly what I did with that other part, but just on the bottom. Align it, and press down on it. So this little square right here should align with this square here. Next, I'm gonna flip it over, and because I've been flipping it back and forth, let me make sure that it's very clear. There should be two tabs like this and this one piece covering right here. So you wanna make sure that you flip to the side where there's a missing piece right here. And you're gonna basically repeat the same steps, but because there's only one piece left, we're gonna do one right here and one right here. And all I'm gonna do is just line it to the top. Like I said, I like to use my fingers so I know that's perfectly aligned. But because there's two sides, just make sure that both sides are aligned. Once they are, I'm going to press down, secure it. And that's how you have your insert. It's kind of weird at first. You got to break it in. So you're going to want to fold this little part right here. And if you look at it in rows, it as one, two, three, four, you're gonna wanna fold right here between the third and fourth, so it breaks it apart. And you're gonna repeat the same step on the other side. Now you're gonna turn it over and you wanna do the exact same thing. It's gonna be a little bit weird because there's a different piece right here, but it's all the same. You wanna break it so it folds on a third. Repeat the same step. Great. Now there's nothing left here. Just let it open back up. And now we're done. You just let it kind of fold on forever like that. Hence the name, the infinity card. 
Last but not least, we have these little pieces right here. And I'm gonna pull one out right here so you can see it clearly, but it kind of looks like a little flower. If you look closely though, there are three folds right here. One's going diagonal right here, and one going straight through. So these two right here kind of make an X. What you're gonna wanna do with that is fold where that X is and fold both in the same direction, okay? And now that last crease that's left in the center, you wanna fold that the opposite direction. Let it kind of pop back. And what you're gonna have is this kind of clover shape. And you wanna just grab these little pieces right here and kind of just fold it in together. And it'll make this. And we kind of like to use this to fill the inside of the heart box to add a little extra wow to it. Um, there's a handful of pieces that come in each package. This is just an accessory to the love notes. So if you don't like to add them at all, you don't have to include them. Um, if you like them, but you don't want to add as many, all up to you. Great, now I have all my pieces right here. I'm gonna bring back everything else I did and the love note will be complete. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful and I hope you and your loved one enjoy Make It Mind's heart love note. If you're looking for design inspiration, check out Make It Mind's Instagram at makeitmind.co. We have our own creations and we have our customer creations and we'd love to see yours. So DM us, email us, share your creation. We'd love to see it all.